Well, oh, let me get the last one in. All right. Good morning, our, our lovely mentors. We are excited to have you here and get ready for the next term. Before I start, I just want to introduce uh, Dan Scott and Dillian. If you guys could just introduce yourselves and tell them what they what you guys do. I think some of them may know you from some of our labs, but just in case. So I'll start with Jen, just because she's the first box in my screen. <laughs> okay. Good morning. My name is Jen Scott. I am a scheduler for ET. So, um, and I also do some lab assisting, so I, I may see you in some labs, but um, I'm the one that um, creates the Zooms that you get. So uh, any issues with that, let me know. Um, and I look forward to meeting you if you're new to ET. Jillian, you're up. Good morning. I've met most of you in labs. Uh, I'm Jillian. I work on the recruitment side with Constance Check Lab. So I'm a program recruiter and I'm help bring the teachers in and then work with Monica and Jen to schedule them. So if I haven't met you, nice to meet you. And I'm sure I'll see you in the lab soon. And and uh, just so you know, there is a slide at the end about helping our program grow. Jillian is the one that's going to make sure you get your gift card. So <laughs> just throwing that out there. And then the other lovely ET contractor who's with us is our veteran, amazing mentor, Maria. Maria, if you just want to introduce yourself to everybody, I'm pretty sure a lot of them know you. <laughs> All right. Hi, everyone. I'm Maria. I um, just graduated from college this past year, but I'm still involved jumping in a few college mentor sessions while I have time. And I attended the University of Notre Dame, studied chemical engineering, and now I'm working at AbbVie as a process engineer, which is a pharmaceutical company, but always happy to jump back in it with ET. All right. I was going to do a little round robin with everybody, but I think some people might still be in their beds and not ready to pop on mic and pop on camera. So we're going to save that for another time. But I do want to hear if you did anything exciting last term. We'd love to hear about you, you know, what you did. You can email me, text me. I always want to keep in contact and know what's going on with you guys. So I'm going to share my screen and we will start with our quick presentation. There have been some new updates to our uh, mentor program that I hope you guys are gonna be excited about for the next term and we'll get underway. So first thing is we have grown a lot. <laughs> our growth has exploded and right before the new year, we hit all 50 states. So that is an exciting milestone. I know Jillian and Constance worked so hard to get that. So congratulations to them and to our team. But that's why we need so many of you guys, because we have more sessions and more Q&As. And the other thing that's new to our program, which I think some of you may know, is that a lot of our intros are now going to be recordings. So that means that our Q&As are our first live touch points with these students. So it is critical that you guys are informed and know the lab so that if a question comes up, especially if it's a workbook-based question, you guys can kind of quickly get to it. And again, we gave a variety with all those resources so that you guys are ready to roll. We have updated over the break. Maria was very instrumental in updating this and making sure that we covered all the stuff that you guys keep asking about. We have updated our tricks and trick, our tips and tricks document, and it is going to be your one-stop shop for everything that you need for your, for your session. Um, it is... Uh, very well organized. <laughs> it is in a checklist format. So you can just check what you need to, to do and get ready for your session. And the one thing that I just want to say to everybody who I know was struggling this term, there is no more Slido. So I hope you guys are excited about that. And I'm going to just go. So the next slide is just about what you need to do for the new term. So first thing is we need you to update your contact information as well as your availability so that we can make sure that I'm pinging you when you're not in class. <laughs> if there is a last minute change in the schedule, we definitely need you to have your bio slide ready to go and inside that shared folder. So whoever your partner is, they can pull it easily without having to uh, look for, for it too much. You need to make sure you have your W9 on file. That goes directly to Dr. McNiff. If you have an issue with that, let me know and we can talk about how you can get that to them because I know that's a lot of uh, personal information on those forms. Uh, we all need an updated resume on file. I think the majority of you gave me your resumes um, when you signed on, which a lot of you are new, so that it's fairly new. But if you have not given me your resume in a, in a since last year, please send me an updated one and make sure to include your GPA. Um, and also this term, we're gonna be a little bit stricter we want everybody to have a virtual background representing your college or university when you are in the Zooms. This may be a student's first time ever hearing about Notre Dame 
And it would be amazing if you just had that beautiful background to show them what that is. And they kind of see, you know, they, ND doesn't mean much to somebody who's not familiar with it. So it's, and even in a school like NYU, some schools, some students have never been heard of that. So just that is something we're going to be pushing this term. And now I'm going to hand it off to Maria to kind of go into what that new format and no Slido really means and looks like. All right. So um, if you were a mentor last school year, you know, there was no structure to the Q&A college mentor sessions, which led to a lot of um, diverse sessions. Some students would ask a lot of questions. Someone had none and you could hear a pin drop in those sessions. So we wanted to increase engagement and have more consistency throughout each Q&A session. So this is why we created those PowerPoints for each lab session topic that have um, the guidelines and flow for the Q&A session. So overall, the kind of the setup of each Q&A session is First, an intro to the college mentors, so you share your bio slides, and then um, going into the lab itself, and we kind of broke it down into three main areas, which is one, just a background about the information and the scientific and engineering concepts behind the lab, and then two, which is breaking down the goal of the lab and the actual activity for the students to reiterate it in case maybe they didn't take a full look at the workbook. And then finally, just connecting the lab topic to the real world. And then of course, the last part of the session is the live Q&A session. And there's a slide on each deck to kind of have some example questions, steer the students in the right direction so they know what types of questions they can ask. And then last semester, we incorporated Slido to increase engagement even more and ask students questions, but that platform brought a lot of issues as far as sharing permissions. So um, for this semester, we got rid of Slido and um, just simply typed in those questions in a slide format in each Q&A session. So when you're presenting, you can just um, ask these questions live and students can either share in Zoom chat or unmute if they're comfortable. So there's no active polling platform, but it's just a way for you to kind of engage students by asking them questions. And of course, feel free to replace some of the questions with ones you feel more fit or add more. Um, when you're preparing your slides for each session. So if you ever have any questions, feel free to email me too, but I'm always around for help. Yes, Mar Maria is our mentor support team. So, mm -hmm. so she is definitely instrumental in this, the improvements of this program. And we listen to all of your uh, suggestions that every mentor had, you know, whenever I'm in a session with a mentor, I always ask you guys, you know, what can we do? What can we improve on? So hopefully this is, we'll keep, uh, improving the program and getting it to a place that's seamless and, and easy for everybody. Thank you, Maria. Amazing work. <laughs> so this is our slide about helping our program grow. A lot of you are actually here because of our referral program and some amazing mentors sent you our way and they all got some Amazon cash and you guys are still available for that program. So if you start the semester and you're like, hey, I have some a friend who might be a great fit for ET, please send them my way. All mentors come through me. And then, of course, for our teachers and your high schools, if your high school is not in the program, even if it is in the program, there may be a new teacher that you know that is not participating. Please send them our way. I have Constance's email up there, but Jillian is part of that team and she gets those referrals as well. So please don't hesitate to say, hey, I have this teacher, you know, let's just send them our way. And you, they may not be in the program and that's $100. So just throwing that out there. And then I'm, oh, thanks, Jillian. <laughs> She's with it. Uh, I Now it's time if you guys have any questions, because again, trying to keep this short and efficient on a Saturday morning. Any questions from anybody here? I know some of you are new, and if you want some, you know, to go over anything, or if you don't feel it comfortable here, but this is the space. This is where we're all here to support each other. So please do not hesitate to, to uh, hop in. I think I skipped something. This no, I think we're good. <laughs> Any questions? And I'm going to actually, uh, uh, Maria, if you have it handy, could you put the link in chat just because I'm sharing the screen? 
for the college uh, tips and tricks document. Oh, yes. Because that would be a nice one for them to just kind of open up and get familiar with. One thing that's also in that tips and tricks document that I know a lot of you've asked for is the timesheet is now a Google sheet. So it's a link and you can access it there. And so that's a, that's a nice improvement too, because I know everybody's always looking for that Excel attachment that, <laughs> that I send out in emails. No question? Oh, uh, I have a question. Hey, Carlos, uh, want... good morning. Good morning. I hope everyone had a great holidays. Uh, I wanted to inquire. So um, if I understand correctly, uh, the sessions begin after uh, Martin Luther King, but yes. are we allowed to like uh, register like before yes. the- I, I actually just updated last night. So I was going to, when I finish, when we finish this meeting, I'm going to send out an email and blast everybody to let them know that the sessions are there. But if you go to our, you know, our shared spreadsheet, all the sessions from January through March are there. Again, one thing that I just want to say about the schedule, always check the spreadsheet. There's always changes and last minute cancellations. If you have a cancellation that's then less that's less than 24 hours, you still get to put that on your timesheet. And I always note it and the past labs are also listed there as well. So you can check what labs you you can add to your timesheet. But yes, they're up. I have them posted. So if you want to go and check it out and start sending me emails with what sessions you want, love to have you guys start signing up and fill up those those yellow boxes. <laughs> Perfect. Thank you so much. And yeah, uh, another note on that for cancellations, we'll always know them like 100%. Just they will they will be mentioned on the time sheet it, itself, right? So I always right. add it to that to that spreadsheet if it's less than 24 hours when a session has been canceled. And now I started later in the session, I learned, okay, this session was canceled, you know, and I'll put the date that it was canceled so that everybody knows when that was canceled. Again, that spreadsheet is updated all the time. So just, you know, keep track of your sessions. But if okay. you have any questions, you can always just email me and ask me. Again, if you're signing up for a session, you know, you can text me that, you know, before the session, be like, is this still on? I'm not sure. The Zoom was canceled, but I'm not sure. Just shoot me a text or an email and I'll let you know. Okay, perfect. Thank you. Uh, uh, final question. Yeah. Uh, forgive me for so many questions. No worries. I'm sure um, everybody has these same questions. So you're good. <laughs> absolutely. So in terms, let's say, for example, we happen to have like any suggestions for maybe like um, additions to like a lab or such. Um, who do you think is the most appropriate person uh, when it comes to that? So you would actually send it to me and I will dissipate it to our curriculum team. Okay, perfect. Thank you. Yeah, of course. Thank you. Okay. All right. Thanks, Carlos, for those great questions. I know others had those questions because we always get questions about cancellations and the schedule. And yes, it's finally up because I know some have been checking back and forth into that spreadsheet. All right. Uh, Denise, did you want to say something? I saw you unmute. Yeah, sorry. I wasn't okay. sure if you were ready to end it. Um. You were mentioning the spreadsheet, um, and I'm just not sure exactly where to find it. All right. I'm going to actually put it up on my screen so you guys can see it. If you go here to our uh, oh, okay. tips and tricks doc, it's this document here. And actually, I'm just going to pull it up. So this is where you want to update your availability. Make sure your contact information is all up to date. And you can check if your bio slide is on file. Just check it off for me. Um, and then here is the schedule. <laughs> All those yellow boxes oh need to be filled. So please take a look and uh, you can email me with any of your availability. Oh, okay, thank you. You're very welcome. Again, we made that college tips and tricks document really your one stop. It has everything in there, the curriculum links, the links to our, to our communication with our mentors, everything is in that one document. So if you have that document, it's going to be your best uh, place for everything. And again, we also have some back pocket tricks in there, some quick videos if it's quiet, some quick links to internships and all of the other uh, information you'll need. And that great checklist for before your before your session and during your session has been updated so you know everything that you need and the links are there as well. All right, we are at 10.15. I think we did really, really well. <laughs> So I'm going to say, again, thank you. Looking forward to working with you all this semester. Do not be shy to send me new mentors. Do not be shy to sign up for sessions. And I know that you guys probably are going to look at that schedule and say, hey, I don't really know what my workload is like. Again, if you ever sign up for a session and you need to cancel for whatever reason, it is just fine. We are, you know, I will find a replacement and I'll ping somebody else in the group and we'll get uh, the session underway. So again, thank you for your time this morning. Have a wonderful start to your session and please send me your emails with some sets to sign up for some sessions. Thank you, Jennifer and Jillian and Maria for being here this morning as well. And we look forward to a wonderful new semester with ET. Bye everybody. Bye, thank you. Bye, thank Thanks. you. Thank you.